Okay, so let's go back to where we started. Definition. Have that the initial value problem. Okay. U dot of t equal to a u t. U zero is equal to x. This is called the abstract Cauchy problem associated to ADA and also associated to the initial value A initial value X so a second definition we have that a function u go from r plus to one x space x is called um, a classical solution of um, the abstract Cauchy problem, okay? If u is continuous differentiable with respect to x, ut is in the a for all t greater than equal to zero and uh, the abstract Cauchy problem holds. Okay. So if the if the operator A is the generator of a strongly continuous semigroup, it follows this theorem. Okay, that uh, the semigroup yields solutions of the abstract Cauchy problem. Okay, we know that TTF the derivative will give us a T T F and we know that T in zero will give us F. That means that both things will be accomplished and uh, we will have a classic solution for this problem, okay? Because it is continuous differentiable, it accomplish all what we wanted for the initial value problem. We will write that as a proposition. So, let ADA is a degenerator of a um, strongly continuous semigroup or a C0 semigroup. Um, TT, T greater than equal to zero. Then for every x in the a, okay, the function u is the mapping that goes that um, takes t to u t. Okay, this will be my definition t t x is the unique classical solution of the abstract Cauchy problem. Okay. Okay, so the demonstration of this has to as I said it has to do with the theorem that I showed. And uh, here we are asking to x to be in the domain of A. One can define another type of solution where one could ask only that x is in um, in in big X in the back space and not in the domain of A in a bigger space. So a continuous function u that goes from R plus to X is called called a mild solution. 
of the abstract Cauchy problem if integral zero t of u s ds is in the domain of a for all t greater than zero greater than equal and uh, we have that u t is equal to a zero t u s ds plus x okay once again as we did in the other theorem the mild solution uh, will be a solution using this uh, theorem the part two we have that a of ts f ts it will be equal to tf minus f okay so using that we know now that if uh, that um, we had so that a of t tf is equal to ttf minus f and we know that this is in the domain of a so we just remain if we have to we we can take this f to this side to obtain this and so we will have that a of zero t ttf dot will be equal to a of uh, a zero t ttf and uh, plus f and here I forgot the plus f but it doesn't matter the thing is that um, just passing this f to this side we obtain a equality that this expression a ttf minus plus f is equal to ttf so we will have the same properties as ttf and so this here will be actually ttf and this will be ttf and we know that when we derive this we will have a of this of TDF. So this will give us a new proposition that uh, now mild solutions will exist for every initial value x in x banner. Okay, that will be the main change. In this case, f is in x. Okay, so f will be in x. But uh, a of ttf, the integral, will have to be in the domain of a. Here we are applying a to the integral. And f will just have to be in x. We are asking a little less. The new proposition will be that uh, let a da be uh, the generator of a C0 semigroup um, TT okay then for now every X in BX the map U T U T as we said before, we can say that this is TTX is the unique mild solution of the associated uh, abstract Cauchy problem. Okay, so of course when you are talking about this UT, we are talking about this expression, the mild, uh, the mild way. But as we already saw in the theorem, to express it in this way is telling you it's, it's just like expressing it in this other way, TTF, and that is exactly what we are writing here.
So, let's see um, another theorem that has to do with mild solutions. I'm not going to prove it, but let's state it. It has to do with closed operators. Let's say, let A be a closed operator. So, uh, the following are equivalent. First, for all x in the Banach space x, there exists a unique mild solution of the abstract Cauchy problem you can put the zero of homogeneous but we will always talk of homogeneous abstract Cauchy problem second the operator A generates a C0 semigroup and third row of A, the resolvent is not the empty set. And for all X in the A, there exists a unique classical solution of, once again, abstract Cauchy problem homogeneous. Um, we can consider also the abstract Cauchy homogeneous problem, and that would be U um, the derivative of ut equals to ut plus ft t between 0 and tau, let's say, and uh, u0, let's say that is x, okay. As always, we have f um, in x, and um, Let's say that f that depends of t, so let's say that it will depend in L1 in time and uh, um, in x in space and uh, x, yes, will be in the uh, Banach space x, okay? In this case a function u, let's say in c1, will always be in telling that u has to be continuous. x is called a mild solution of a c p f f integral 0 t us ds is in the a this is for a closed operator and uh, ut will be equal to x plus a of 0 t us ds and also the homogeneous part, the integral of zero t, f s, yes, t between zero and tau. Okay. So in the same way, we have a proposition that says that a, if a is a generator of a c zero semigroup, then for every f in l one zero tau x, we have a, a, a unique mass solution given by this formula, sometimes called the variation of contents formula for the solution. So it's the same for the inhomogeneous case.